Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you about motion in a circle or the kinematics of uniform circular motion. Now to start off with, we need to just talk about something called a radian. So the formal definition of a radian is the angle subtended at the centre of the circle by an arc equal in length to the radius. Okay, A unit of measurement of angles approximately equal to 57.3 degrees. So what does that actually really mean? Well, if you imagine maybe a piece of string that's equal to the length of your radius of any any circle and you lay that piece of string around the outside of your circle from where the string starts to where the string finishes if you imagine lines going to the the center of the circle okay where those two lines would meet uh, the angle between them would be equal to one radian Okay, angular velocity. Well, what is angular velocity? Well, it's defined as the rate of change of angular displacement. Commonly, it's given as radians per second. And angular velocity is related to frequency by, well, omega equals 2 pi f, or omega equals 2 pi over t, where t is the time it takes for uh, one complete rotation. So my uh, circles here, they're rotating at... Uh, uh, they take 10 seconds to rotate around. So omega equals 2 pi over t. So 2 pi over 10, well, that would be uh, pi over 5 radians per second. Now, this equation here, V equals r omega, relates the uh, tangential velocity with the angular velocity. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you look at the two circles here, the blue and the red, well, you can see they're both rotating at the same time because the arrows take the same amount of time to go all the way around. However, okay, because the path that the red arrow has to follow is larger, the red arrow, sorry, the red arrow itself must must actually be going faster. Okay, so how can it be that the angular velocity is the same and that the tangential velocity is different? Well, it's because the radius of the circles is different. Okay, so the blue circle has got a larger radius, so the tangential velocity at any point along the circle is going to be bigger on the blue circle than on the red, even though they've got the same angular velocity and will actually take the same amount of time to go around once. Okay, centripetal force. A centripetal force is a force that makes a body follow a curved path. Its direction is always perpendicular to the motion of the body and towards the fixed point of the instantaneous centre of the curvature of the path. So here I've got the moon, or my little uh, animation of the moon, going around the earth. So the, the purple vector, or the purple arrow, represents the direction of motion, whereas the red arrow would actually represent the force that's acting towards the, the centre of the curvature of the path. Okay, centripetal acceleration. So centripetal acceleration is the rate of change of tangential velocity. The magnitude of the centripetal acceleration is related to the tangential speed and the angular velocity. And these are, uh, or the first equation here, A equals R omega squared. While A is the centripetal acceleration in meters per second squared, uh, we've got R, which is the radius of the circle, and we've got omega squared there, which is in radians per second. And if you think, well, F equals MA, uh, and nothing's really changed about that equation, I, I can just say, instead of saying, well, F equals MA, I can just substitute A for R omega squared, and I get F equals M R omega squared. Okay, and then uh, finally, this is just a, a slight variation on the previous equation. So this time, instead of having omega, uh, I've now replaced omega with the uh, tangential velocity. So I can now say, well, X... Uh, centripetal acceleration is equal to v squared over r and then again because f equals ma well uh, f equals mv squared over r okay guys i hope that was useful don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye for now